What is a block? Things over here, and welcome back to the farming season. Like Twenty-two being small moments. This is where we talk about everything that happened last week, everything that happened this week, and so on. But before we get into last week, you guys know we have to start by thanking our elite flock members. These are beautiful people who help support the channel every single month. And one of the perks of being an elite flock member is your name shout out at the beginning of every Phoenix moment. So without further ado, let's run down this list of awesome people. We have Mr. Redneck Gaming ninety-eight. Mr. JT Bathars Gaming, Mr. Colin Cooper, Mr. Cook County Fire Photography, I'm guessing that's Mr. I'm sorry if I assumed, um, Mr. Cast Pajamas, and Mr. John Becker. Thank you guys so very, very, very much for your continued support. It does mean a lot to me, and I love your faces. Uh, now, I didn't get much for you guys last week because I had been busy, and unfortunately, it seems like I'm going to be pretty busy um, for the next couple weeks, and we'll talk about that in just a bit. But uh, hopefully, this week I will get. I have at least the next. Let me see. Before I go shoot my mouth off, let's just see what exactly I got. I do have the next uh, one, two, three back from Bloods ready to go. And I think two more Fallout. 76. Oh, I did get a bunch of Fallout 76 stuff. I take that back. I did get a bunch of Fallout 76 stuff up. Upload it and uh, viewable for you guys only. All the other stuff I was kind of tight on time with, and uh, it's just simply because I was tight on time. But if you guys would like to join the Elite Flock Club, they're going to be getting some cool stuff announced soon. Um, can't say yet, but soon you guys will get the first glimpse of what's coming down the pipeline. Um, but if you would like to join the Elite Flock Club, the only way to do it is click that join button down below to tell you everything you need to know about becoming an Elite Flock member and all the perks. Anyway, let's move on to our comment of the week. This one comes from Mr. User-ON3XI7FJ1S. <laughs> Guys, pick a username. Don't, don't use the default username. Jesus, Pete. Anyway, uh, he says, hey, Phoenix, first of all, congrats on your first pack release. Thank you, sir. You're so so kind. Second, do you know how to create strobe light bars in GE or Blender for Farms in 22? I'm trying to make it on all platforms, so unscripted would be preferred. Thanks for any info. Uh, I have no help on Farms in 22. If I was, I'd probably be doing my own. Um, I everybody makes fun of the guy, the actual modders and thin line outfitting uh, because they don't do 22 and everybody says oh because they don't know how they do i legitimately don't i it's too complicated for me to pick through everything and all that uh i like the simplicity of farms m17 so that's where i stick that's where i stick at and if the guys make the jump 22 well then i'm just i'm not <laughs> i guess i'm done doing uh truck edits but yeah no i'm no help with that um user so i would uh, I would direct you to one of the many uh, modders on uh, the, the Giants mod hub. They'd probably be better to ask. Uh, maybe open up a mod uh, from A2 Studios to see how he did it. I don't, because uh, he's got some, it's just not great, uh, the lighting. Uh, I don't think you're going to get great lighting from... Uh, from 22 and hopefully 25 is better but you know he's probably the best out that has something like that so on all platforms so I would see how he does it uh, anyway thanks for your comment if you guys want your comment right here just leave a unique comment that stands out from all the rest and I'll read it out here but let's go ahead and move on to last week and what happened last week so first off I was in uh, in Worst pain in my life. I've been through a lot uh, in my years, but last week I had probably the worst pain I've ever had in my life um, when it comes to tooth pain. Like, one of my back teeth, it just, oh my god, I had nerve pain. I had pain, like throbbing pain shooting through my whole left side of my face. I had a constant headache for like three days it, it sucked it was it was the worst pain in my life and then i ate something i think it was the hot peppers i had i guess the hot pepper got down into the irritated gum and oh my god i i'm i uh, you can ask my wife she's probably seeing me cry uh, maybe a handful of times 
and that was one of them. I was in tears, just trying to do anything to take that pain away. It sucked so bad. Um, but yeah, that was probably the the worst pain I've ever been through. So I had to deal with that for a few days um, until I got taken care of, and then uh, <laughs> my youngest one also had to go to the orthodontist. She had a little medical problem of her own. Her, her expander fell out uh, and they just put all braces on and went there to the dentist the next day. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Dental work in my family. Not, not, do, not so hot right now. Uh, but anyway. So, on top of that, um, we got word that they had start moving people into the other building that was working on the same time our building was working on. Ours was not quite done yet, but I feel like it's coming uh, fairly soon. So I feel like that means we're going to be moving soon. So I've started packing uh, stuff up, the uh, the unnecessary stuff, just getting ready for it. Because I don't think we're going to get a ton of notice. So uh, I feel like we kind of get it uh, as much done as possible now. So when they say, hey, you can move back in, which I'm, I'm guessing is going to be by mid, mid, mid-August. So, that's that's what I'm thinking. I could be completely wrong, but I'm thinking mid-August they're going to, we're going to get a note on the door. It's like, hey, uh, or within the next couple of days, I'm, I'm expecting to have a note on the door saying, hey, you're going to be moving in two weeks, like we did last time. Which I'm kind of excited for. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm steezed. Very steezed to see what the new apartment looks like and get moved in and finally have a fresh new place to call home because uh, our last apartment was pretty trash. <laughs> this apartment's pretty trash. I can't wait to have a, a freaking uh, sink where I don't have to plunge the sink every time. That, yes, that was when we moved in. Uh, the sink was not draining and the maintenance man told me as long as he could plunge it that's all they were going to do so he his advice was to buy a plunger and yes we had we went out and bought a plunger specifically for our kitchen sink so it, it would drain we've tried Drano and all that works for a short period of time and it's right back to the same old way so yeah I can't wait to be in a new place because I don't know what what these people before us have put down that drain, but it will not drain to save my life. So, yeah, can't wait for that. Uh, also, um, I think since the last time I recorded a Mons Bo- or a Phoenix moment, I we went to the fair. Uh, I went to see Deadpool. It's been a busy week. It's been a crazy busy week. Um, to say the least, <laughs> we did a lot of stuff uh, over the past week, and I'm so re- just so ready to uh, relax. It, it, and it's not going to happen. Well, I'm, it's going to be happening tomorrow night. I'm recording this Friday night. Uh, the, there was no stream on Saturday simply because uh, it's SummerSlam. So I'm, I'm, I. If you guys wonder why there was no stream last night, I was watching SummerSlam. The Big Four. The Big Four. I will take off for the ones in between. I'll just watch on stream. But WrestleMania, definitely Royal Rumble, SummerSlam. What's the other one? Have wait. What's the what's the fourth one? I don't even remember anymore. Okay, so the big three I'll take off for. Uh, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble will be my favorite. So anyway. I'm rambling. Uh, so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff to uh, to get done in the next couple weeks. And hopefully, uh, the couple weeks after that, as we get moved in and start unpacking and going through everything and all that. It's going to be it's gonna be a lot to do. And, uh, you know, videos might be hit and miss. Um, I will try my best to get everything up when I can. I just don't know when that's going to be, if that makes any sense. Anyway, um, is there anything else I have to cover for last week? I don't think so. Anyway, if you haven't already, go watch Deadpool. 100% worth it. Uh, that is, I'm a, I'm a huge Deadpool fan. I've loved the first two movies. The third one did not let me down. 
I thought for sure Disney would would ruin Deadpool for me, but nope. Same old Deadpool, same old shenanigans. It's awesome. If you watch the first two, you're gonna love the third one. Go see it in theaters. It is well worth it. Trust me. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to this week and what to expect this week. First off, Phoenix Moon. You watch it now. Hopefully, it's on Sunday this time. Can't guarantee that, but hopefully, it's on Sunday this time. Uh, <laughs> um. Monday will be a Farming Sim 17 mod spotlight. Again, hopefully on time this time. I didn't do it last week because I had to move the Phoenix moment into Monday um, because we, we went and watched Deadpool on Sunday and we took a <laughs> extended uh, um, the scenic route we end up going we watched the movie in milford and ended up going up to dover and coming back to milford it was it was a whole it was a whole thing anyway um so hopefully monday is the mod spotlight i've had recorded for a few weeks now and uh yeah <laughs> when we get it get it up uh tuesday will be more fallout 76 like i said i currently have fallout 76 the last one I have scheduled is for August 27th. So pretty much all of August uh, for Fallout 76 is completely uploaded. Same with uh, uh, Back for Blood. Black for Blood's actually scheduled until September 12th. Uh, so, so those are up for the, at least the next month. Um, so there will be for sure Fallout 76. And like I said, I think I have at least two more Fallout 76 to upload. I'm trying to get through as much of that stuff I have recorded to make room for other stuff, but yeah. Um, Wednesday will be a mod spotlight. It's already recorded. It's going to be Fair Fever Part 2. Um, so it's already done. It's just I have to edit it and render it. So hopefully uh, it won't be this Sunday because my wife has off this Sunday. But she works 2 to 9.30 on Monday. So hopefully Monday is going to be my my uh, hunker down and just bang videos out in between packing. So I'm going to be rendering, packing, uploading, rendering, packing. That's going to be my, my, my Monday. <laughs> my Monday schedule. Uh, so Wednesday will be a mod spotlight. Thursday, again, back for blood. It's scheduled until September 12th, and we still have more of that. And we recorded more of that this past week, so I hope you guys are enjoying Back for Blood because it's going to be going for a little longer. <laughs> uh, and Friday, I do, I still have Phoenix Plays recorded that I need to go up, and it just seems like Friday I always don't have time because Friday is like I get everything caught up on Friday around the house that way i can stream friday night stream saturday night usually i take friday and saturdays off on housework so friday is like day is getting completely caught not to mention during all this i have a new project i'm working on which i will announce soon when i get the go ahead um it, it's really cool and you guys are going to love it from what i'm seeing already it's going to be top notch top notch so can't wait to uh, you know tell you guys about that when that time does come uh the members will be first to know but working on that while doing all this extra stuff so it's taking some time away from my work schedule but we'll try our best to get it done but like i said uh friday is if i have time definitely we'll have it uploaded like i said hopefully Monday I get all the videos done for the week and then I can start working on the other videos uh, for future weeks after that um, as far as live streams go you guys know Sunday if you're watching this uh, at noon on Sunday JT is probably live streaming over on his channel you can find it linked in the description down below JT Bethard's gaming he he's been playing um, construction simulator here lately uh let me let me double check um yeah so he went live at 11 14 a.m eastern standard time so between 11 and 12 eastern time 
Uh, he's been playing Construction Sim here lately, so if you uh, like Construction Sim, uh, he also does Among Us, he does like Lego games, stuff like that. If you guys are interested, hop on over there, tell him he sucks at, at Uno and, uh, and golf. Uno and golf. Just tell me sucks. Uh, anyway, uh, his channel is linked in the description down below. Next streaming night would be Thursday night. That is PJ stream night. Anything you see with cats pajamas in the title on my channel, like the Back for Blood, Fallout 76, uh, any of that stuff is all recorded when uh, PJ's streams on Thursday nights. He usually starts between 8.30 and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, you can find his channel linked in the description down below. With JT's is Cat's Pajamas. Um, again, all the stuff you see on my channel with Cat's Pajamas in the title is all streamed. So if you want to see his point of view or you want to see all the footage uncut, you can see it over on his channel on Thursday nights. Next up will be Farming Friday. I'll be here from, as far as I know. Yeah, for sure. I'll be here Friday. Um, we'll be doing some farming. Uh, it's gonna be time to get everything harvested again. Uh, so yeah, we'll be we'll be that I'll be pretty consistent right up until 25 comes out, I think. And then Saturday is always up in the air, uh, but I should be here. I forgot last week. Uh, th this past Saturday was SummerSlam, so yeah, I took the night off of that. But I will be back this Saturday with whatever the guys want to play. Saturday night's always uh, the guys' choice, so whatever they pick is what we'll play anyway that is everything i got for you guys uh if you guys did enjoy today's video do me a huge favor leave a like down below if you guys want to do want to see future farming simulator 22 phoenix wells be sure to click the subscribe button if you guys want to know if i would ever do a live or upload video click the notification bell and as always guys thank you so very, very much for watching i will see you guys next time Bye.